Okay, so how common uh, human chimerism is. I just wanted to show this one part, this um, uh, one link. Um, there's plenty of other links that specifically show it's like one out of ten. Some places say one out of eight um, of pregnancies um, cause individuals to be chimeric um that's just the truth that's two zygotes in vitro combining as one basically or basically absorbing your vanished twin basically dna basically um now like what i said about the whole thing with intersex people um for one i specifically said that it's specifically as much as 10 percent for chimerism right for people of both types of chimerism that is for people who are specifically born with like the same sex fusion basically so you have two twin sisters two twin brothers and you can have situations where brother and sister combine together so my point in sharing this was specifically the one content creator well not content creator it was just an individual who commented on my page was specifically saying that um intersex conditions are a small percentage this condition in itself causes people to be intersex by their sex chromosomes now this is weird to me i know some people do believe this but obviously if you are xx and xy karyotype because of chimerism as due to uh, chimerism being the cause that is not the same as turner syndrome this man tried to tell me about turner syndrome as if turner syndrome really was i know some people like to say turner syndrome is an intersex condition um but i don't like to i don't need to talk about that honestly to me it's like i don't I don't want to step on anyone's toes, okay? But if you don't have male sex organs, you don't have male chromosomes, you don't have male hormones, that's really not the same as being both sexes, now is it? If you don't have any of the characteristics of males, how can you be both sexes? Like... That should give you an understanding. So when you understand what Turner Syndrome is, um, you should already know that it. they say they put it in the same category as develop, disorders of sexual development, basically. And that is understandable why they put it in that condition, in that category, basically. But specifically saying that they are both sexes that is not true so i don't know why you were trying to present that to me i didn't say that you said that pink forever i don't know why you thought that was a good idea to bring this up but uh yeah that's not what i was talking about i was talking about xx slash xy chimerism and how natural human chimeras are actually thought to be as high as 10 percent of the population now this is of people who are same sex and opposite sex so it's both types of people the people who are obviously opposite sex are the people who are intersex the people who are same sex are obviously not intersex because it's two people of the same sex that are combining together that means one individual one person specifically shares dna from the, two of their brothers or two of their sisters you know while, you know, someone opposite sex would be a brother and a sister combining to make one individual, basically. That's what chimerism is. It's genetically um, absorbing your twin, basically. Anyway, my whole point in this is just, you know, uh, you, I think, got confused because you don't know what intersex, you don't know what being biologically both sexes is, you know, and you don't have a good knowledge of this whole situation so you just use anecdotal situations to characterize intersex people and people who are born both sexes okay like yeah and honestly a lot of people who are 
born with Turner syndrome would not like you to call them both sexes and say that they're intersex. Many of them do not identify that way. Some do, but many don't. And I would think you should probably respect how they view their own personal biological bodies. So um, that's all I have to say in this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Like and subscribe. Comment down below and have a great day. Bye, guys.